Absolutely delighted to get through in the FA Cup today. Yeah, I uh, think it was a good performance from the lads. Um, they're a good side. You know, they played three league games, one, two, drew one, I think, not conceded a goal. So I think the odds are against us slightly just because of, you know, they've played competitive football. Um, but I think the lads were resilient. You know, they, they worked hard, they pressed well and they got the ball. But, you know, there's still a lot of work to do. You brought several players in. I think it's five signings announced yesterday. Yeah. But it, it seems to have gelled so quickly. What do you put that down to? Um, I think the lads know each other. I think that's one of the biggest things. Um, you know, Andre's coming now, and he knows Lenny, and uh, I know Kennedy, and Kennedy knows Yaz and Grimesy. So, you know, there's there's, an, there's a link with all the lads that we've tried to bring in because we knew we're not going to have enough time to bed them in. So at least if they come into an environment where there's smiling faces that they know, then it's it's, it's an easier bedding in period. So um, it's it's worked well so far. Um, but again, we've got a lot to do. You're on record as saying you were a bit concerned about the midfield and the strike force during pre-season. Yeah. Um, but today it did look as though there was lots of chances being created. Yeah, I think um, Luke Haynes was excellent in there. Um, he just he's assured. He's got a great spring. Sits in front of the back four, wins his headers, and gets on the ball and gives us that calmness when um, you know when he just gets on the ball and play. So. And we've worked a lot on it. I just think we're more physical now. I think that's the biggest thing in midfield. And first, for, first and foremost, we've got to win that, those second balls and, and that individual battle in the middle of the park. And I think we did that well today. How important was the experience of, of a lot of the Hereford players today? We didn't have it last year, did we? I think I think that was the biggest thing. Um, you know, we spoke in there um, before the game and after the game and, and, and said, you know, that's vital. You know, we've got to stay in the game. We've, we've worked on our identity and, and what we want you guys to perceive us as and the fans and everyone else as. And, you know, I'd like to think, you know, speaking to you now, that we're, we're getting there. I know it's early days, but we want to be resilient, we want to be strong, we want to be organised, and I'm thinking we're that today. No uh, doubts about the penalties as far as you were concerned? No, the first one definitely. Uh, the second one, I could see Toby was going to chop him, so they're given, they're not given. Uh, but the first one, definitely, definitely a penalty. And you, you've got a choice of penalty takers now, by the looks of it. I know, yeah. I know. <laughs> um, to be fair, Lenny, um, he, he, he took a good whack. Um, and then when he stepped up, I was like, he was limping a bit, and I was like, I'm not sure about this one. But no, he, he started it away, and then obviously Toast started the other one away. So, yeah, good option. One concern for Hereford supporters at home will be the injuries. Yeah. Is Linnell John Lewis okay? Is it just a knock? And also, I was a bit surprised when um, Jake Wright had to come on. What's yeah. the latest? Jake um, just had a bit of cramp, so he's, he's not long come in. Um, so obviously he's been training and, and he works hard you know, to keep himself fit, but there's nothing like games and, and that stuff. And really, he's played... 20 minutes in the preseason friendly, so it's tough for him. But you know, Kennedy stepped right in. That's why we've brought him in, and he's he's excellent. He's, he's a man mountain. He's, he's short at the back, wins his, wins his headers, and just the ugly things well. So he's excellent. And Lenny was a horrible tackle, wasn't it? Let's be honest. He's, he's kind of scissored him, isn't he, on his ankle. So we'll see how it is. We'll assess it, and then we'll have a look um, Monday. But obviously, Andre, come on, works hard, quick direct you know and he's got a good leap on him so you know we've, we've got options up there as well. A couple of players absent Dan Jones and Dimitri Brain what, yep. what's the situation there? Dan um, is a bit tight um, but also Cammy's done well pre-season so you know he's at the moment he's put him in there and he's, and, and he's done well. Demi um, I don't know if you saw the um, incident on the Chippenham game and Goldie's landed on him he's landed very awkward so we're just assessing that now might have done a little ligament in his knee, we'll have to wait and see. So, But, you know, we're looking to bring in reinforcements. I, I think that's the biggest thing. We were supposed to bring in, bring in two league strikers, um, but obviously because of COVID, they've kind of ended up not coming in, so we're still looking. So that could change before Southport? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're, we're looking. We're trying, to, we're trying to get some bodies in. I think the thing is, with the, the kind of budget restrictions in the leagues above, a lot of teams are holding on to their players. There are players starting to filter out now, which is good, so hopefully we can try and get something over the line before Southport. But if not, I'm comfortable with what we've got and I think a lot of the fans are worried about our attacking threat and I think you can see the way we play today that we've got that in abundance. And you know, with your psychology head on, you must be very happy that you've got a positive result and confidence will grow into your first National League North game. Yeah, I think you come into the game knowing they've played two or three games already, competitive games, and they've got a crowd and we're not allowed a crowd here, you kind of think, you know, it's against us a little bit, but you know, we've got a resilient bunch, we've got a professional bunch, we've got an organised bunch, and so coming in here today and putting on that performance is, is pleasing, but we're a million miles off where I want to be. Um, so we'll get there, I think we need to be better in transition on the ball, so they put a lot of pressure on us in the second half, and I expect us to be better on the ball, so that's something we've got to work on even more, but defensively I thought we were excellent. Thanks very much for your time. Thank you.